Hi, I'm Drex from DrexFactor.com, and this is Gunslingers 101. For the final video in this intro series, we're going to work on putting together some of the Gunslinger flowers from the last video with some traditional poi spinning to create Gunslinger hybrids. Hybrids, if you've never heard the term before, are shorthand for when you're spinning poi and one hand is executing one move, while the other hand is executing a different one. The clash and contrast tend to produce really cool effects. We're going to begin by turning back and forth between our forward and reverse weaves in a waist wrap. Start with a forward two beat and wall plane with your dominant hand over to its native side. You're going to wait for a moment when the thumb end is spinning up near your center line and you're going to let it pop straight up while your hand sneaks underneath it. This is called a linear isolation and it allows you to switch your hand over to being pinky led while moving it to the other side of your body. Once you've arrived over on your non-native side, you're now performing a pinky led reverse two beat. To move back over to the dominant side, wait for the moment when your pinky end is dropping down your center line. Allow it to drop and sneak your hand above it, back to your dominant side. This will also allow your thumb end to switch over to being the lead once again. Your goal here is to switch back and forth between your thumb led side and your pinky led side. I find it's really helpful to focus not only on the linear isolations, but also really concentrating on which end is the lead at any given time. We usually call turns back and forth between forward and reverse weaves waist wraps, but the cool thing about doing it with a meteor or gunslinger is that it's also a flattened flower. Remember those points where we either pop the thumb end up the center line or drop the pinky end down the center line? Well, pop your hand up with the thumb end and drop it down with the pinky end as you go back and forth. This will result in a 10 petal flower with the thumb end and the pinky end each producing their own 5 petal anti-spin flower. You can also perform in-spin flowers instead by having your hand do the opposite move the poi is. That is, when the thumb end pops up, bring your hand down. When the pinky end drops down, bring your hand up. This will result in a six petal flower with the thumb end and pinky end each producing their own three petal inspin flower. Real quick, I just want to take a second to thank the friends of the channel. Dark Monk specializes in researching and designing spinning arts equipment, personalized to the artist. They want to help you find and design your next prop so it can be an extension of your art. Find them on the web at dark-monk.com. Spinballs feel that the benefits of poi as an art form are numerous and seeks to promote the art through quality equipment at affordable prices. Find them on the web at spinballspoi.com. Ultra Poi pushes the boundary of LED skill toys to bring custom lights to the masses, creating professional shows at competitive prices. Find them on the web at ultrapoi.com. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Spinballs, and Ultrapoi for making the videos on this channel possible. Now on with the show. Let's try combining that 10 petal anti-spin flower with a standard 4 petal anti-spin flower in our other hand. The first step is actually going to be just performing the gunslinger anti-spin while our other hand sits there in wall plane and doing a static spin. Even this can take a little bit of training to keep stable, but once it does start to feel natural, you can start to build to a full flower. Make sure the gunslinger poi is spinning the opposite direction of the other poi and start with the two hands together. As the gunslinger poi drops down or pops up, think that the other poi is going to do exactly the opposite. Your hand should be moving in split time opposites. As much as possible, you want to focus on syncing up the top and bottom pedals of both the 4 pedal anti-spin and the 10 pedal gunslinger flower. Again, learn this with either hand doing the gunslinger, because there's something really cool that we can do if both of our hands are used to this. We can have both hands performing the 10 pedal gunslinger flowers at the same time. Now, this gets a little complicated and takes a lot of training, but it's by far my favorite gunslinger trick right now. Start by performing a forward weave in one hand and a reverse weave in the other over on the same side of the body. You'll want the weaves to move left and right together. Now perform a waist wrap with both weaves over to the other side of the body, and you should find that they reverse directions. Go back and forth like this a few times. When you can keep both poi weave comfortably, try separating your arms as they go across the center of your body, popping up the thumb end of the poi that's turning from forward to reverse, and dropping down the pinky end of the poi that's turning from reverse to forward. When you get to the other side, give yourself a chance to breathe and find your timing again. Eventually, doing this will start to feel comfortable, and you can try switching back and forth from side to side instantly. And you'll be performing two 10-pedal gunslinger anti-spins. Now, as cool as this move is, there's a host of other gunslinger hybrids that we can learn too. Using a similar technique to the 4-pedal anti-spin versus 10-pedal gunslinger, we can also learn to perform a 2-pedal in-spin flower versus 10-pedal gunslinger. To do this, start with the gunslinger poi and the other poi both turning in the same direction. Once again, the hands are going to move in split time opposites. This time, however, as the gunslinger poi drops down or pops up, the other poi will do the exact same thing. Additionally, we can perform an extension versus 10-pedal gunslinger by keeping our two hands together and speeding up the gunslinger flower just slightly. Try transitioning from the 4 pedal versus 10 pedal to extension versus 10 pedal and back again. 
Finally, we can do anti-bridge with gunslingers too. Try performing a static spin versus six pedal gunslinger flower by just doing a pinky lead reverse weave on one side of the body, but trying to keep the hand even with the movement of the static spin poi. I usually try and make the upbeat on my non-native side the top pedal of this flower. Can you do all these tricks with contact poi as well? You bet you can. Again, I recommend training them first with poi that are relatively evenly balanced between head and handle before moving on to poi that have heavier heads than handles. Of course, we've really barely scratched the surface of what's possible with gunslingers. To see some great cutting edge work on gunslingers, you can follow folks like James McPherson or AoE Kondo on Instagram. I'll link to them down in the description. Also, a big shout out to my friend Cryptic, who is a big point of inspiration in learning gunslingers, as well as showed me that really cool rap entry from the first video. Did you like this introduction series? Let me know down in the comments, and let me know what tricks you'd like to see me tackle in a future series. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the flow. Peace. Hey there, thanks so much for watching my video. If you got anything out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Special thanks to all of my wonderful backers on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support my channel, please visit patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks so much in advance.